Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego Batman movie Scarecrow Fearful Face Off. Set number 70913, 141 pieces. So, small set, this is from the second wave of the Lego Batman movie sets. I think it's the smallest one of the second wave. So, no tape on this, just a little glue to hold the box together. Dump everything out. Let's see, we have a sticker sheet that has, looks like five stickers on it. Single instruction book that's rolled in half. And a loose plate. And of course our bags of parts. There's no numbered bags here. I'm just gonna dump them all out. Start building. Second, and here's our last bag. All right, it's a lot of small parts. There's definitely not, other than this, there's really nothing big in here. I guess there's this propeller piece. So, let's begin with our minifigures. Start with Scarecrow. So this is more of the standard Scarecrow versus the pizza delivery one, where he was in a delivery costume. So there's kind of what I would consider your standard Scarecrow minifigure. So Batman is next. And this one doesn't have the bat belt. And I think the reason why is because of these wings. So if the belt part was on there, this part of the wing would not be able to slide on to the back so we put the wings on put his head on double printed face kind of has his little smirk and then there's kind of like a scared face but really all you see through that is the mouth so it's not like it's that big of a difference other than just a little bit of mouth that you see all right, so he has this grappling hook blaster. So even though he can fly with these wings, he still has this hook that he's probably going to try to catch Scarecrow with. All right, so that's it. There are some studs on the back side of this, but we're not putting anything on there. And then these wings are kind of just solid plastic, so they really don't move at all. Okay, move that to the side. Let's begin. Uh, well, it does look like we're going to put something on the back. Never mind. Um, this is going to be the, the jet pack. It's going to go on the back of the, the wings that I was just showing you. So we take these little rocket end pieces. Put a stud that has a, a hole on it. We're gonna do another one. You can see that stud has a hole in it. And then we'll attach these little handle pieces. Each one of the handles goes into a hole on the side of these studs. Just like that. And we have these two flame pieces that attach to the, the hole inside those studs that we just put on. And now this is what attaches to those studs on the back. So now he can really fly with this jet pack. Now, once that's on there, he can't stand up. You know, he's forever flying. So I'll just throw it down to the side. So now this is going to be Scarecrow's little helicopter piece. So we start with this plate and we put a trans fluorescent yellow plate. Plate with two bars on the side. And then repeat those steps all the way down. And I've created this stripe pattern. And we'll put a bracket right there. 
then a plate on the top. Two of these modified plates with the click hinge. Okay, so we have another bracket with some cone bricks. And we have trans black, I think what they call this. It's basically like a smoke colored, translucent color. I don't think I have many of those in this one by one round tile in that color. I don't think I have any of them actually. If I do, it's one or two. All right. So this will go on the underside like that. Another bracket with a couple round bricks. And the trans fluorescent yellow piece like that. And this goes here. <clears throat> around we have our jumper tiles now we have a plate with a clip now we have these droid arms go on both sides and they go approximately where I'm putting them they don't really show you the exact spot in the instructions, but that's about right. And then we're going to take this broom, clip it on here. So this will create our, our skids that the helicopter will land on. Move that to the side. Have a little sub build. These pieces are kind of rare. I know I don't have very many of these. It's basically the front um, radiator grill part for like a car. That's where I've seen these parts used before. But like I said, pretty rare element unless you get very specific sets that have them in there. So that's pretty cool to, to get that part. This round piece with a Technic element in it. It's gonna get a little propeller. See, it turns pretty well because that's a non friction Technic pin. Now we get two stickers that are gonna go on either side. the same sticker so there they both are this attaches there so you can see those stickers give it a little bit of detail like it's some sort of um, wires or pipes or something we have a axle with an axle joiner. Now we have two of these stud launcher guns. Got to put the trigger in it. And 
And these both go on the sides. Kind of pointing down. Now we have our large propeller. A couple pieces on here. I guess that is the way it's supposed to go. Mine doesn't have as long of a... Shows more extending out, but it fits in there okay. All right, so next is the rear fin part. It goes there, we have this flag element. This will get a couple stickers. Carefully put this on because it, if you put it on crooked, it'll hang off the edges. So you have to make sure to line it up with all the sides before you push it down. That looks good, and this will go right here. Next, we're gonna do little, looks like pumpkin bombs. Do two of them, even though it looks like they give us enough parts for three. These attached to the stud launcher guns. So we have a stud on the top of that dome shape. So then you can pull that or push that trigger and they will shoot out. So that's pretty cool. So we're done with the helicopter part. I guess I could put the minifigure in there so you can see what it looks like completed. And I've got Part already knocked off. Come on. And I'm accidentally launching studs. All right, so there's the completed helicopter with Scarecrow in it. Blade is kind of small, but this is kind of, you know, steampunk looking. It's not really supposed to look like it could really fly if it was a real helicopter. Okay, on to the little accessory piece. Looks like it's gonna be a, a bomb. Okay, we take this guy plate on it, plate, tile, brick, tile, now we'll go there and then we're going to slide this axle through, this pinhole all the way through to where it interlocks with that axle hole. So that is now locked in there. It kind of creates a little plunger launch type play feature. lights on this bracket. We have a red light and a green light. And it is last sticker time. So it looks like a little control panel with some 
gauges and other type of readouts on there. Have our little macaroni brick. It's gonna attach just like that. So that looks good. good so we have I'd mentioned we had enough uh, pieces for another one of these guys and here's why so we're gonna make another one now this one will slide in here so the play uh, that goes there and then this piece goes here so the play feature is you push this little yellow piece here and it blows off the top because that little bomb part pushes it up. Um, and I did notice when I built this last one that I did forget to put on a stud on the bottom side of each one of these. Now, you notice it really didn't matter as far as the construction of it. It's still held together, but what that stud does is it allows that orange minifigure head to appear a little bit taller than it is. Okay, so there it is. So we have our extra pieces and slide those off to the side. So we have Scarecrow, we have this little um, bomb that he's placed, and then we have Flying Batman that is trying to capture Scarecrow. So Flying Batman is hard to... I'm going to put them up here that way his stuff can hang down because he won't stand up with that backpack and everything that's on him all right so that's it for this one thanks for watching it was a small set it was pretty easy little build um some interesting little techniques so if you liked it put a comment down below make sure to check out the links that i have on this video it'll bring you to a ton of lego batman movie set builds so if you like this video you'll love all those check them out we'll see you in the next one